Uh, I think we've got everybody here. Uh, we're going to do a quick walkthrough. Um, let's just try to stay together. There's a lot of debris up in here, uh, boards with nails on them and, and sharp metal shards. So just be, please be careful. You know, you know. I know with you camera guys, you're, you're trying to. Get... We've got all the gas. Uh, stuff shut off and all the utilities squared away, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. But I just don't want anybody to step on a nail or, or, or trip over. Just uh, try to uh, just keep everybody try to be as accommodating. So over here, you now you do with the LLB. <laughs> You're late. Doing great. That's the whole house. Huh? Yeah, we'll uh, we'll try to send somebody back. <laughs> so with that, everybody got the rules of engagement. Let's just kind of stay together. I don't want anybody to turn off. So let's go. Thomas, you ready? You good? trailers that were one trailer are now three trailers. So difficult to know. Uh, Something old for everybody was uh, back here last night when we started. Uh, everything we did started in there. We had two primary search areas, which was this area here and that back area back there. So the fire department and the sheriff's office worked together. Uh, in three stages, we searched the uh, we searched the rubble three times. And each time we searched the rubble, the fire department would put on a uh, one-colored band or a, 
ribbon and then when they search it again they put on a, another color ribbon so that we know that they search it twice. When we search it we did the same thing with other colors. So that's how we kind of went through it and made sure that we, you know, we did the best we could at getting everything, everybody and, and uh, out of there and, and uh, looking for survivors. Uh, and, that, and that third look through is when we were able to uh, recover uh, the victim that was buried in the rubble and uh, unfortunately that's where we found uh, the deceased. We do, but we're not releasing it yet because we're not sure if the, the family's uh, fully aware of what's going on. What sort of injuries did the victim die? Which victim? There are several victims. Uh, he, uh, we're not releasing that yet either. Maybe I did last night. the trailers where they lived at. Um, our goal is to pick them up and take them to one of uh, two places, which is uh, here at the SBCA uh, in Tulsa and over at the city of Tulsa. And our goal will be to put the pictures of the animals that we recover up on the Sheriff's Office website so that uh, everybody who has an animal out here can uh, find their animal, know where the animal's at, and be able to pick up their animal once we've, we've uh, been able to pick them up. Make sure you grab some shots of the damage. Got blown out during the night. I will, we will, I will
Ask a couple questions of it. He's going to walk in front of us. So you kind of described that you found the deceased victim in the rubble. Can you tell us about that again? Um, we found uh, a father and son uh, as we were doing our third search. The son was, uh, we could hear the son yelling or screaming, and uh, we worked our way towards the noise or to the sound. And the first person we found was the father who was buried under a uh, propane tank. We were able to pull the propane tank off, roll it off of the father, and at the same time the other deputies were uh, in the same area and found uh, the son. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the son was the one that was yelling and, and asking for help. The father, he was buried too deep, he couldn't, we couldn't hear him. Uh, the son is the one that passed away, so he, 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 he saved his dad's life, yelling and screaming and hollering, so. That's how that works. Do we have an age on him? Um, we're looking at around 40 right now. We turned the body over to the medical examiner, and uh, the father's still in the hospital. So. Where in relation to we are did that happen? Um, see the uh, tree that's hanging down that way? Yeah. That's where the bodies were, or that's where both them were found. I understand there are two other possibly critical injuries here. Is that your understanding? Yeah, we've, we've sent several to the hospital. Uh, how long have you been here in Tulsa County? Myself? Yeah. Uh, I've been in Tulsa County. I've worked at Sheriff's Office for 24 years now, so I've been here 24 years. Where does this stack up in, in your memory in terms of devastation and and also the fact that we have a fatality here? Well, I'll tell you this. I worked the 92 uh, Catoosa tornado, and that was a horrible tornado. Uh, I remember that really well. And uh, I look at it and I look at this, and I see trailers which are easily uh, moved and easily damaged and easily and the tornado just makes easy work of uh, an area like this. So I would say that Hello. looking at it, this is very damaging and very uh, yeah, this Danny. Uh, ugly looking. But I will tell you like I told hey, another uh, person a while ago, uh, I can assess it and tell you what it looks like to me, the but the person that you want to ask is you know, the lady that lives in that okay. trailer right, right. there uh, or the guy that lives in the trailer over here. They're going to tell you what it looks like to them. When will they be allowed back in? We're working on that right now. I've got a, uh, a protocol being set in place so that we can start letting the people who live here in safely and also keep the people that aren't here to do good out. So that takes some effort. And, you know, it's really tragic that we lost somebody, but when you look around, are you surprised that we didn't lose more? I'm very surprised we didn't lose way more. Very surprised. And the, um, go, go ahead, Russell. Go ahead, I was just going to say the issue for you guys now, you were talking about safety, and, and this is changing topics slightly, but you were talking about the fact that we have so many dogs out here. Have they, have they posed any threat, or are they just kind of just camping out at their, at their trailers? They're looking for help, too. Yeah. Yeah, every, every animal that we've seen so far, you know, is just wondering what, what they're going to do next. And I think they're, we're not having any real issues right now at all. Okay. Any idea how many are out here? Um, uh, a bunch. Uh, we, we've gotten probably about 20 so far. Okay. Still got some running loose. Still got some running loose. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Can you, can you show us some more, maybe? There's a shot. There's a dog. Yeah. 
is dead. I switched to this one for the yeah. interview. I got the interview, but okay. What time did you guys make the recovery? Uh, I would say it would be close to 7:30. Well, we were trying to get through here. You know, Just before. getting in, I'll bet was. Well, we. I don't think we worried too much about that. I think what our biggest concern was is the hot wires that we had laying on the ground, the uh, the gas that was uh, in the air, and then. Uh, you know, the darkness that was coming, because we knew darkness was going to, it's going to, it's going to hurt us. So we tried to get through here as uh, best we could with what we had. And it was somewhere in here that you found the, the father and son? Yeah, right underneath the tree where the clothes hanging up there. Yeah. It was right underneath there. Okay. Where was their home? Yeah. There's actually two or probably three trailers there. I don't know that, but I think like the night after I posted a picture, I had this dream that like I ran into Shyla and she like had a knife or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know anything that's going on in your life. Okay. So, um, do you guys? Oh wow, it's not weird. Hey, it's Max. Um, is anybody available? I'm I'm supposed to be streaming right now live on the TV you app. I don't even know if they're taking it. If they're not, I'm going to close it down. Yeah. <laughs> 